my name is Jen and this is my channel Embracing Chaos. If you are new here, welcome. And if you are returning friends, thank you so much for coming back. I am truly honored to have every single one of you guys here. I cannot tell you every video how much I appreciate all of your support. Today is a Tuesday tag. Usually these tags are created by Tracy over at Trials of a Long Haired Girl, but for those of you who have been with us for a while, you know that she is recovering from a rotator cuff surgery. So Kim from A Girl in Her Phone, Sandy from Let's Get Fit with Sandy, and Joan from Joan's Point to Plate have taken over creating the tags until Tracy is back up on her feet. This week's tag was created by Kim over at a girl in her phone. So big thank you to Kim for designing this tag and keeping them going while Tracy is down. I will make sure to link all of their channels down below, so please make sure you go by and check them out. And a huge thank you to Miss Susie Buey who tagged me this week. I will also link her channel down below. So along with Joan, with Kim, and with Sandy, please make sure you go check out Miss Susie's channel too. Fantastic women, lots of wonderful WW content and weight loss inspiration for sure. So anyways, let's go ahead and get started on our tag. Question number one, what is your favorite, I think it was supposed to say lucky number but I wrote down favorite. So what is your favorite or lucky number and why? Seven. Why? Because it's just always the number of luck. So I like seven. I like seven too, but I don't have a good reason for it. I've never, I don't think I've won anything off of seven ever, but. I probably haven't either. But it's a nice right in the middle, middle number, so. Yeah. Two straight lines and a story. Yep. Nice and neat. Yes. <laughs> I don't so know you get those else. weird people to put the little dash in the sevens. Yeah. You know, weird people out there that do that. That's called fancy, honey. Oh. Chaoses don't do fancy. No, we don't. We're far from fancy. Right. Number two. What weird useless talent do you have? Talking. Weird useless talent? I just I know a bunch of useless facts. Talking. No. It useless is a useless facts. talent. Useless facts. Fine, fine. <laughs> What's my word useless talent? You can't say talking because I already said it. <laughs> uh, your weird useless talent. Um, everything you have is useful. I don't think you have anything I'm useless. useful. Mm -hmm. I have no idea, guys. What do you think? What is an idea for a useless talent? Because I'm not really sure. I don't have a whole lot of talents. <laughs> but everything I do... It does serve a purpose, so I don't know what my useless talent is. What's your useless talent? Leave me your answer down below in the comments. I'd like to know. Maybe then I'll figure out what my useless talent is. Question number three. What skill would you like to master? Skill I would like to master. Mm -hmm. Professional scale model building. You are good at scale I'm not a professional though. I'm not professional? No, I'm not professional. That's a fun hobby. Mm -hmm. And I would like to master the skill of relaxation. Mm, I am terrible at that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, I'm, I'm sure that there's some major technique to it that makes it possible and clearly I need to work on mastering that skill because I don't do it. Do you think that's a good skill? I think that would be I, an excellent skill for you. I think it's you. a skill. It's mm -hmm. hard to relax <laughs> and meditate and all that stuff. So, yeah, I would like to be a master of relaxation. There you go. Question number four. If you were in a circus, which performer would you be? <laughs> mm, I'd probably be a clown. Why Why a clown? Because i got jokes. I'm just, I'm not coordinated to be like a trapeze artist or a juggler or one of them fire thrower guys types. No, I'd be a clown. Clown? Clown. I'm going to be with the monkeys. Because mm. they're so energetic and fun. And cute. There you go. Yeah. So the animal trainer? No, I want to be one of the monkeys. Oh, you want to be act. one of the monkeys in the act? Oh, I see. Yeah. Monkeys. I'm not going to be a trainer. Oh. I want to play. Okay. I want fun with the monkeys. Okay. Say monkey around. Is this one of your useless talents? Yes. I knew it. See, See? he talks. Useless fact. 
question number five. Would you rather be invisible or have x-ray vision? Mm. Mm, that's a tough one. I'd say invisible. No, it's not really tough. Invisible. Because if you're invisible, you can still see everything for the most part. Yeah. I would rather be invisible too because there's just some things that I don't want to see inside of. Or beneath, like clothing. So. Yeah, we have machines for x-rays. So invisible. <laughs> Question number six. Would you rather go one month without social media or one month without television? Oh, social media by far. Really? Yes. Why? Because. That means no YouTube. Ooh. That means I can post videos and stuff, huh? Fine TV then. I would say TV too, because honestly, we don't watch a whole lot of TV, mm -hmm. and if we do, we're watching YouTube videos. Yeah. So, I would rather go out with it. I would rather go without the television. Question number seven. If you knew you couldn't fail at it, what would you do? Climbing Mount Everest. Yes, that would be awesome. I would love to do that. Knowing that I wouldn't perish, freeze, fall off the mountain or anything like that. I would yeah. love to do that. Good idea. Mm -hmm. What would I want to do? I was going to say sing or dance. But I feel like there's got to be something more. Something more than just that. Mm -hmm. What have I always wanted to do that I'm afraid to do because I'm going to fail? Exotic dancer? No. Mm -hmm. Oh, darn. Not in my future. Oh, um, I don't know. I don't know either. I'm still gonna go with dancing. I want to be. It would be cool if I could be like a professional dancer. That'd be fun. Because I feel like you can express yourself with music, and dancing would just be awesome. Mm -hmm. That'd be fun. Well, I'm sticking with dancer, but not your kind. No. no. Okay. Fine, then. Question number eight. What's <laughs> the craziest thing you've ever eaten? Can I list a couple things? Yes. Okay. Fried crickets. No, oh, I'm sorry. Grasshoppers. Conch. I think that's probably the two weirdest things that I've, I've eaten. Where were you when you ate those? Thailand for the fried grasshoppers. Oh, when you were deployed? Mm -hmm. Mm hmm Yeah, it was like a bag of popcorn. You just buy it and then you put a little you know, popcorn seasoning or whatever seasoning they had on it. You just eat them like it's popcorn. Occasionally get like a leg or something stuck. Oh, gross. Case, but, and then we had conch when we were in Haiti. In Haiti, yep. Mm -hmm. And my craziest thing would be alligator tail that I ate on a family vacation with my family when I was a kid. Crikey's. Mm hmm Question number nine. If you could travel back in time, where would you go? World War II. I was thinking that too, but I'd want to be a fly on the wall and not have any, any effect on it, though. I just would want to observe. Not... That, that sounds bad. I just... It just fascinates me the whole the whole thing how he managed to what is the word gain control of such a massive amount of people over the most ridiculous things like the psychological aspect of him and then the whole entire world it just did I you know want to see it here's a useless fact back to what was it question number two my useless fact did you know there was a British soldier that actually had that guy in his sights back in World War One, and had the opportunity to shoot him, but let him go because he felt sorry for him. Mm. Look it up. It's a true fact. Alrighty. Yep. Fair enough. Why do you want to go back to World War Two? I want to see what it, it was like. I really want to see. I want to be next to the guy that I know survived. That way I would survive. But I want to know what... I know it sounds kind of weird and morbid, but I wanted to know what real real war was like and what these guys had to go through. Um, I mean, I already have enough respect for them, but I think it would be beneficial to really have the experience for that level of respect. Sorry, that was long-winded. Yeah, I get it. And then question number 10, what did you want to be when you grew up? When I was a kid, I wanted to be a firefighter. But then, as I got a little bit older, I wanted to join the Navy, and I did so. Awesome. Yep. And I wanted to be either a babysitter, a teacher, or a nurse. So, I've done the whole home daycare thing. 
I did study early childhood education, so like preschool teacher type stuff, and now I'm a nurse. Yep. Easy peasy. Mm -hmm. All right, guys. Well, those are our answers. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please feel free to leave your own answers to any of the questions down below in the comments. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I love getting to know you guys better. All right, guys. So I had originally tagged a couple people when I first recorded my tag answers. And before I could get my video posted, everybody else tagged them. So since I'm apparently late to the game, I'm going to say tag your it to anybody, any other YouTubers, any of my subscribers, any of my subscribers' friends. Feel free to leave your answers down below in the comments. I look forward to hearing them. All right, so if you haven't already, if you give me a thumbs up, I would greatly appreciate it. If you are not a member of my YouTube family and enjoy these types of things, WW content, subscription box unboxings, please hit that link down in the corner. I would love to have you as part of my YouTube family. And until next time, guys, keep smiling. Bye.